Pakistan Air Force has finally repaired the heavily cratered runways at the Sargoda Air Base following the Indian missile strikes, but satellite imagery confirmed that the runway restoration was more of a temporary stopgap than a full resurfacing, with hastily patched sections still clearly evident across key intersections. Hindustan Aeronautics has issued a request for information to indigenize the pilot control unit for both civil and military variants of the Druf advanced light helicopter that is currently imported from France. The RDO and the Sock Leyland developed 600 horsepower engine has successfully completed performance tests and has now entered durability trials under extreme operational conditions. The Ministry of Defense has launched a top-level review to slash the weapons procurement timeline from the current seven years to under two years, and the 26 Rafale Marine deal completed within two years now serves as a benchmark. The RDO's aeronautical development establishment has developed a unified ground control station that can operate multiple UAVs like Archer UAV, Archer NG, and the Tapas male UAV from a single ground station. The Indian Air Force is working with Dassault Aviation to integrate the 160 km range Astra Mark II air-to-air missile into its Mirage 2000 fleet, which is currently limited by 80 km range Myco missiles. L&T Defense's indigenously designed SOV-400 midget submarine has received certification from a reputed European naval firm that is designed for covert missions and special operations in shallow waters. India's RRP Defence has partnered with French firm CK to set up a drone manufacturing facility in Navi Mumbai that will produce advanced tactical surveillance drones. Lucknow-based Kalam Labs has announced plans to develop a supersonic UAV that can be launched from 36 km altitude and can cruise at Mach 2 speed. It will feature ramjet propulsion, stealth design, and modular payloads for deep strike missions over 800 km. The Indian Navy has issued a request for information for a 360 degrees ASA radar system to boost the gun capabilities of its warships by providing a unified system capable of supporting all calibers of naval guns. This unified radar-based gun control system will integrate with combat management suites to support close-in weapon systems, medium and large caliber guns. The Indian Navy is set to open price bids by the end of this month for 48 heavyweight torpedoes, in which the Italian firm WAS has offered its Black Shark torpedo, which holds a price edge over France's F-21 torpedo, and the Italian firm is also exploring local production facilities in India to support future exports. The aeronautical development establishment will utilize a modified version of the digital fly-by-wire flight control computer developed for the Tejas Mark II fighter jet on the Gartak unmanned combat aerial vehicle. The Gartak Stealth UCAF and Tejas Mark II fighter jet are both set for rollout in 2026, and both platforms will be paired for manned unmanned teaming. The DRDO is working on a 100-ton extra-large unmanned underwater vehicle with a 2,500 crore rupees budget, which is a massive 16-meter platform that can carry 10 tons of payload including torpedo tubes and mine-laying gear, and will feature a rare independent propulsion system with endurance over 45 days. The Navy plans to acquire up to 12 units post-prototype trials by 2027. India's potential acquisition of the 60 Su-57 fighter jets equipped with Mach 5 capable 200 km range ramjet powered K-77 ME missiles, 400 km R-37M Mach 6 hypersonic air-to-air -air missiles, and Mach 8 capable 800 km range Brahmos 2 air launched hypersonic missiles will give India the ability to strike high-value Pakistan Air Force infrastructure and command nodes during the initial hours of conflict, and neutralize assets like the JF-17 F-16 J-10 C J-35 and AWACS aircraft from long ranges, even before they detect a threat. Russia is also developing high-powered directed energy weapons for the Su-57, that is in early stage research and development, and is expected to be ready by 2030. Today's top 3 comments.